there is a wedge shaped block placed on a horizontal surface and it's connected and a small block of mass m is connected in this particular way and given that all surfaces are smooth so there is no friction anywhere find the accelerations of the bodies if we can assume that acceleration of this wedge shaped block this wedge shaped block is actually going to slide on this particular surface so this is the contact surface parallel to which this capital M is going to have some acceleration so let's assume that acceleration of capital M is towards left and let's say that that is capital A so we have assumed that acceleration of capital M is this A towards left now we don't really know acceleration of small m but we do know that acceleration of small m as seen by this person of on this wedge is going to be parallel to this particular surface so we can say acceleration of small m as seen by someone on capital M is along this direction but that's not going to be acceleration of capital small m while applying f net equal to ma this acceleration of mass m has to be with respect to non accelerating frame so we can say acceleration we have to draw acceleration of small m with respect to non accelerating frame while applying f equal to ma so we need to find we need to draw acceleration diagram of small m with respect to ground but we can say acceleration of small m can be thought of as acceleration of small m as seen from capital M and we know this direction this is going to be parallel to contact surface between bodies plus acceleration of capital M so we can say acceleration of small m with respect to ground is something like this vector sum of AR let's assume this is AR and capital A and one of the equations is going to be a relation between A and AR this is basically our constraint relation we can assume position of capital M with respect to some stationary point let's assume position of capital M with respect to this stationary point be x1 so we can say rate of change of x1 with respect to time is going to be velocity of capital M as compared as seen from this particular point on the wall so we can say d square x1 upon dt square is acceleration of capital M of this point s of this point on capital M as seen from this particular point on the wall so this should be your minus a be careful of this negative sign they are actually in opposite direction your x1 is decreasing with time let's assume this length be x2 so if we differentiate this x2 twice with respect to time this is going to be acceleration but this is going to be acceleration of this point on small m as seen from this particular pulley this d square x2 upon dt square is actually acceleration of small m as seen from this pulley on this capital M so this should be your plus AR and we can write length of this total string to be this length plus this length plus this length and plus this length so we can assume this length to be say h so we can say total length of string is basically twice of x1 plus h plus x2 if I differentiate this thing twice so we have in LHS d square L upon dt square 
is equal to twice of d square x1 upon dt square plus d square h upon dt square plus d square x2 upon dt square this total length of string is constant that actually implies differentiation of this thing is going to be 0 so we have 0 equal to twice d square x1 upon dt square is basically minus a twice of minus a now this h this height h this distance between these two pulleys is also constant we can say this is going to be 0 differential of this thing is going to be 0 plus ar equal to 0 so we have a relation between the two accelerations that ar should be equal to 2a this is our one equation we need four more equations and those will come from f equal to ma on each body along two different axes so one equation is ar equal to 2a this is our first equation and if you look at this body fbd of this body would be t some t on this direction and some t on this direction there will be a normal reaction between these two bodies this is say n there is some force say capital mg downwards and a normal reaction from the ground and acceleration is given to be say this capital a now this angle is theta and this angle is theta so for x axis we have 2t minus t cos theta plus n sin theta equal to m a for y axis we have t sin theta plus n cos theta plus mg is equal to n1 for small mass fbd would be something like this say mg downwards and tension in this particular direction and normal reaction in this particular direction its acceleration diagram is something like this say, say ar along the inclined plus capital a along this particular direction we can choose any two perpendicular axes let's assume that these axes are this one along the incline when one perpendicular to the incline this angle is going to be theta and this angle is going to be theta so resolving this force along these two axes and resolving this acceleration along these two axes so for this x axis we have mg sin theta minus t is equal to m ar minus a cos theta and along this y axis we have mg cos theta minus n is equal to m a sin theta so these are the other four equations one two three and four now we have five equations and you should be able to solve and get the answer we are done